Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Wiggins. I'm the humble and proud pastor of the New Horizons Church. And I just thank God for him and his grace and his mercy being new every morning. And I thank God for you. I thank God for you joining us each day doing these prayer series, this daily devotional on spiritual warfare. Um, I pray it's been a blessing to you. I know it's a blessing to me just to be able to stand in the gap and to intercede for you and to pray alongside of you. And thank you for coming alongside us and praying with us through this series. I'm, it's a blessing to know that we can get spiritual victories in our spiritual battles when we use God's spiritual weapons. And so today is day number 20. We're 20 days in uh, to us praying about these spiritual victories that God gives us when we use his weapons. And day 20 has led us um, to Ephesians chapter six and verse 14. Ephesians chapter six and verse 14 says, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, amen. Having put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. It tells us to stand therefore, having girded our waist with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yesterday, God reminded us that we ought to take with us the word of God, which is truth and and gird our loins up and put the truth around our waist because the truth of God's word is what holds everything together. Here today, he reminds us not only to take the belt of truth, but to take the breastplate of righteousness. Again, Paul is invoking a picture or an illustration of a Roman soldier who gets dressed for battle. When that Roman soldier gets dressed for battle, he would have his belt on, but he would also have something that would guard his heart, that would guard his his lungs that would guard his intestines. It was his breastplate. And, and it was important because if a, uh, a soldier took a, a, a wound to the breast or to the chest or to his vital organs, it could be catastrophic. catastrophic. It could be life-threatening. It could be very detrimental to his victories. And so God tells us to take with us the breastplate of righteousness. It is God's righteousness that should cover our hearts and should cover the most vital parts of our life. We have no righteousness apart from Jesus Christ. It is Jesus's death, burial and resurrection and our faith in his death, burial and resurrection that puts us in right standing with almighty God. It allows us to live righteously before his presence in the power of his Holy Spirit. And so today God wants us to pray about taking the breastplate of righteousness into every battle not claiming righteousness on what we've done, but our righteousness is in what Christ has already achieved for us. So let's go to God in prayer today and pray and thank him as we take on the breastplate of righteousness. Let us pray. Oh Lord God, our God, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Lord, how we magnify you and glorify you and lift you up and praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you for these precious moments where we get a chance to commune with you and get off by ourselves and, and spend time in your word and spend time in prayer with you. Lord, before the busyness of the day or the busyness of the next phone call or the busyness of the next meeting or whatever is next on the agenda, God, we just want to take some time to say thank you and to praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for illuminating for us that though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. Thank you for reminding us today that, that, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in you, O oh God, to the pulling down of strongholds, Lord. We thank you and bless and praise you, Lord, that, that while we are in this world and while we are walking in this world, we don't war according to this world. And we thank you for spiritual weapons that give us spiritual victories. And so, Lord God, today, as we pray through Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 14, Lord, we want to be able to stand and having done all that we know to do to stand. And so, Lord, help us to stand with our loins girt about with your truth. And then, Lord, help us to stand by with having the breastplate of righteousness covering our heart and covering the most important parts of our lives. Lord, we thank you that our righteousness is not our own, is not based on what we've done, but it's based on what Jesus Christ has done for us. So Lord, we lean and depend upon 
your death and your burial and your resurrection. We place our faith in you. And because of that, Lord, you have made us righteous with our Father. You've put us in right standing with our Heavenly Father. And so we thank you, Lord, that our righteousness is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. So we take that breastplate, we take that protection, Lord, with us into our day to day. And when the enemy tries to come in and contaminate our hearts and contaminate our minds and contaminate our emotions with wrong things and wrongful living, Lord, we declare that we are righteous in your sight because of the blood that was shed on Calvary for us. Jesus, we thank you for your righteousness. And we, we carry that into our day, Lord. We don't carry a self righteousness, but we carry a righteousness that comes from our Savior. So Lord God, guard our hearts today. Guard our wills today. Guard our minds today. Guard our emotions today. Guard our spirits today with your righteousness. Lord, we know that the enemy would try to tell us lies and try to bring deception and try to bring confusion, Lord, but we are covered by the blood of Jesus. We are covered by his love for us and we carry into our day, Lord, the breastplate of righteousness. And Lord God, we humble ourselves up under your mighty hand. And we do know that in due time, Lord, you will exalt us. And so forgive us, Lord, when we try to be right in our own eyes. Forgive us, Lord, when we've tried to carry your commandments out in our own strength. Forgive us, Lord, when we've tried to do right, but we've turned around and did wrong instead. Lord, we did it in our own power, but we submit now to the power of the Holy Spirit that is able to keep us and to help us to live according to your word. So God, we thank you and bless you and praise you for your breastplate of righteousness. We thank and bless you and praise you for your belt of truth. We thank and bless and praise you for your weapons of our warfare. We thank and bless and praise you, Lord, for the whole armor of God today. And we give you the, we give you the praise for every victory that you have given to us. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 20. And we prayed again from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 14. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Go in the righteousness that is supplied to us by the blood of Jesus Christ as he died on the cross and was raised from, our, from the dead for the forgiveness of our sin. When you put your faith in God, Jesus makes us righteous with our heavenly father. And we can take that breastplate of righteousness as a protective armor against the wiles and the strategies of the enemy in this evil day. Be victorious today. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. God bless.